एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग वेलकम यू टू माय वीडियो वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू हैंडल द इंबैलेंस्ड डेटा सेट यूजिंग क्लास फोर सो इन जनरल वी कॉल अ डेटा एज अ इंबैलेंस्ड डेटा सेट व्हेन वी डील विद क्लासिफिकेशन डेटा सेट्स राइट वेयर वी हैव a uh, different number of records or different number of observations for each class then we call it as a imbalanced data set right so let's say we have two classes 0 and 1 and if i have more number of records for for 0 and less number of records for 1 then i call this as the imbalanced data right so what happens when i use Imbalance the data to train my model. Basically, my algorithm is going to get biased towards the majority class, right? So this we call it as majority class, and this we call it as minority class, right? So to deal with this kind of data, we either do under sampling or over sampling, right? So when I say under sampling. we are going to remove some of the samples from the majority class so that to match with the size of the major minority class right and then i'll train uh, my model with this data or let's say if i try with over sampling then i'm going to increase the samples for major uh, for minority class to match it with the majority class right so in this case i'll try to increase the samples for minority class right to match it with the majority class so this we call it as over sampling right in both the cases i'll try to balance it and then train my model so either we can use under sampling or over sampling basically this is highly preferred right so we don't uh, want to miss any information or lose any information so we don't prefer under sampling so we always prefer over sampling right it has its own uh, advantage and disadvantage so we also have other method called class weights where we will assign uh, weights to the classes so in class weights we basically assign higher weight for minority class okay than the majority class so what happens in that case if if our model makes any misclassification on minority class then high penalty will be given so that the model will try to reduce the error basically will try to reduce the number of misclassifications okay so uh, let me show you how to practically do it so i'm going to take a data set here so i have taken class data set uh, which is basically having multi classes okay so let me first import the libraries so i'm just going to quickly uh, go to the model creation part so this is our data set and class is our target variable so let's do the value count here to see uh, how many classes we have so you can see these are the labels of uh the target variable and you can see we have a different number of observations for each class so this is basically imbalanced data set uh here i am not going to balance it using under sampling or over sampling technique so which will be done in the pre processing right so i am not going to do anything in the pre processing here uh let's say if i take this data to the model okay so let me just define the in independent and the dependent variables and the train test split okay so first i'm going to try with default model so let me train uh this data for the default model and let's check the score so here i'm doing the prediction and checking the f1 score for training data and let's also do it for the testing data so you can see that we have got uh, 92 for training data 
and F1 score as 94 for testing data. Okay, so I haven't balanced the data. I've just used the original data and tried with the default model. And now let's also check the confusion matrix. So you can see there are certain misclassifications, right? So this is how uh, the default model has performed. Now let's try this class weight. So basically I'm going to assign weights to the classes, okay? So to do that, we have a parameter called class underscore weight. And here I have to change it to balanced. Okay, so while initializing my model, I'm using this parameter and changing this into balanced. And let me train my model. Let's see how this model is performing. So I'm checking the training score and testing score. So you can see the difference. When I use the default model, you can see that the F1 score was 92 for training and 94 for testing. And you saw certain misclassifications here, right? So when I tried this class weight parameter, which is basically going to assign uh, higher weights for the minority class, so that what happens when the model makes any misclassification for the minority class, more penalty will be given. So our model will try to reduce the error as much as possible. So here you can see the score has in, increased, all right, for uh, training as well as for testing, right? So you can see that it's a hundred percentage, right? So let's check the confusion matrix. So we can clearly say that there are no misclassification, right? So this is uh, one way of dealing with imbalanced data set, right? So I hope uh, you're clear how to use this uh, class underscore weight option. Thank you all.